Tila, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. But by the time you see this, we probably won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Man, let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, right behind me, man, if we do go live and you happen to miss it, right above us, this is where you can catch the uh, live highlights. But you really shouldn't need that because you should be catching the lives at this point. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget, we also got Patreon and we also got merch. Yeah, get me, you got mine on. Um, the link to all of this is below in the description under that link tree uh, link. Click it, it'll all pop up. Man. Now, this is Surviving Birmingham's Deadly Streets, Gangs, Crime, and Prison. Bro, name is Blake's. Shout out to bro from the Taboo Room, man, man. I always like to give dude a shout out because he be he actually be coming in commenting on the videos when I do the reactions. Solid, he a solid dude. I can tell. He not a, he not he's not a goofy. He understands. <laughs> Plus, he been to the rack, and I only can applaud that. And he was with the members. He wasn't with them other people. He was with the members. <laughs> anyway. Not not opposed to him being with anybody from the rack, but you know. Salute. Let's get into it. I'm like, yo, I cannot wait to go to jail. In my mind I'm thinking, yo, jail sounds so fun and just lit and to become a G, like you have to go through these trenches. So I'm just like, I can't wait to go to jail. So when I'm rubbing and that, like when I get to an age where I'm rubbing and I'm like, yeah man, fucking I got caught and shot caught for four street robberies when I was 14. Just turned 15, went to youth court or whatever. And they was like, yo, um, the one used to do ISSP. I'm like, fuck, that was some like program. I'm like, fuck that, I ain't do ISSP. Like, that's long, send me to jail. And then they sent me to jail. And then when I got to jail, I was like, this is not the spot. <laughs> I hit that realization. He was in turmoil. He was, oh my days. <laughs> This is not what I expected. Yeah, this is jail, buddy. <laughs> Yo, listen, yeah? Free the mob, man. Free the bird. That's it, man. They know what it is, man. Fuck the sharks, man. Good morning, Blake. How are you? Good morning, man. How are you? All good? All good, bro. I'm good, thank you. Um, Blake, could you tell me what your childhood was like? Um, childhood was like, I'm from um, Highgate, Lee Bank, Boss Leaf area. Like, when we was little, that was all one, like that was all one, but now it's it's divided, like civil wars and shit, just divided the whole area, people set score themselves, different shit, and it's divided up the whole area, so I'm from there, like, yeah, everyone from there is poor, bro, fucking, but even though everyone's broke, there's classes amongst, like, broke people, so you got, like, his, we're all broke, but his broke up here, and we're broke down here, so it's just like, yeah, man, we grew up there, man, and then, um, I moved to Ladywood when I was little and then that was just like fucking I lived in this block of flats. So like we lived on the seven we lived on the eighth floor, the lift only goes to the seventh floor. So we have to get out and walk and shit like slips off in some broke down area really. Yeah, so you said there's two definitions of broke, yeah. So what was your definition of broke growing up? So my definition was so we all so obviously you know how it goes when you're little, it's fifty man on the block. You know how it goes, everyone's chilling but Everyone's got, not everyone, but 98% of these people, they're in fresh clothes, fresh trackies every week, fresh everything. But I, I'm wearing the same shit every day. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, own clothes day in school, like that's a problem for me. Like, own clothes day, I'm like, fuck, you know? Like, how the fuck am I gonna, how am I gonna situate this situation where I can go in there and not look like a tramp? <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so I was just stressing about that, like, like that kind of bro. My brother used to have to rob my school uniform. Like fuck. What? Why was the case? Why was that the case then? Why? Why was you broke growing up then? Because um, generations before me, obviously, my mom never had the information to to um get out of that financial oppression or just never in order um financial literacy. I like how he's putting this. Like, why were you in that situation, man? It's a generational thing. Some people are just born into it. It ain't nothing that they did or nothing that they can help. Like you born into that and because your people don't know how to get up out of there, you just gotta be there. You gotta be the generation to break that curse though. 
And from the looks of it, you know, he iced out. He, he probably got it now. You can spread that information to your knowledge to your kids and, you know, let them know that, that being broke is not not normal. <laughs> Oppression, but it happens. Just never in order and um, financial literacy to get out of what she was in, and she didn't know any better. She had her own yeah. demons. She was struggling herself. Um, my dad died when I was little, so Lord. nah, it's all right. It's, you know what it is? Common stories, like where we're from, it's common stories. So yeah, like we was just at the lower class of broke man. Like I, I used to have to wake up no money. Like, no money in my pocket. Mum wouldn't give you no money. You know, everyone's young and they get their little, like, £10 to go out for the day, £20. None of that, bro. Shit, like, that's, we started robbing, like, that's why we started robbing, like, again. So what, in school, what was you studying? Or, or did you drop out or did you do, do the, did you finish it? Nah, like, I, I went jail. When I was See, in... here's the thing. Like, when I was younger, YouTube, I don't condone this. I never robbed nobody, though. Because I feel like people was working hard, no matter how they was working, they was they was trying to get what they was trying to get. But when we used to go to that little corner store, oh yeah, I'm taking. I got to take what I got to take, cause I'm hungry. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not finna go into Delta Discount. That's what the corner store was called. It was three of them. Delta Discount, and you know what I'm saying? Grab some stuff, and and, and I gotta watch. Mm -mm. And what made it what, what crazy was like. We used to go to the store. People was buying stuff, so they never really thought like, "Oh yeah, he funny." Nah, they was like, "Nah, they buying it." So little old me, you know what I'm saying? I got me a Twinkie or something, you know what I'm saying? Good Twinkie, good twenty five dollar juice, the one you pop with your two front teeth, and you know what I'm saying? Well, it's lit. <laughs> That's all I needed. That's cool, but um, like my mom gave me like ultimate freedom because she had um, like she grew up a bit um under pressure kind of thing, like she stripped a bit, yeah. She gave me ultimate freedom, like, to be a free mind and a free spirit, yeah. And it's like, she wasn't, um, but she was free, like free in her own little way, yeah. So she, like, there wasn't no regulation, you know what I'm trying to say? So I just wouldn't go to school some days, well. And then some days turned into a lot of days and then I just wake up like, I can't even be asked to go to school anymore. Like, I'm gonna go to school and say it on somebody, just so I get suspended for two weeks and no one's gonna do anything because <laughs> Like, my brother's in jail, Big Blake's is in jail, fucking. I'm just out here on my own, so, yo, why not, innit? And you said you ended up in jail when you was in school, yeah? Yeah, like, well, I, I, caught, I, like I done some street robberies when I was 15, because that's how I was, I was just robbing people, like, I needed money and shit, so I was just robbing people, so, um, I done some street robberies and I got caught. But, yeah, the mad thing is, is that because Big Blake's was going to jail all the time, he's coming out and, like, there's, like, 10, 15 of them in the living room. And my thing too was like, once I got to the age where I could get a work permit, because that is like, I think you gotta be 15 to 14 or 14 to be able to work in where I was in Cook County or whatever. So you, you, you need to be 14 or 15 and you have to have a work permit. Once I was able to get to like that age, I just went and got the work permit and went to work. You know what I'm saying? I was one of those. I, let me just go to work. <laughs> I'll see everybody when I get up out of work. Because I, I need that bread. Because I can't be in high school, bummy. No, sir. Couldn't be me. Well, Not, not when I can go to work. Oh, man. And, and, like, who doesn't hire a teenager? A teenager can get a job anywhere. You got a clean work record. It's your first job. Like, they're going to hire you. Or oh, tell you mad stories. So I'm like 12, he's like 16. I'm listening to this trying to sneak in the living room and not be a part of it. I'm like, yo, I cannot wait to go to jail. In my mind, I'm thinking, yo, jail sounds so fun and just lit and to become a G. Oh, you was like, 12, You have to okay. go through these trenches. So I'm just like, I can't wait to go to jail. So when I'm rubbing and that, like when I get to an age where I'm rubbing and shit, I'm like, yeah, man, fucking, I got caught and shit, I got caught for four street robberies when I was 14. You know that's the that's the that's the truth of it though. All these people come around, like, come around you. They talking about jail. Shoot, you think it's lit when you young? So, hey, yeah, hey. I'm going. I'm get, I'm get, I'm doing all this bad stuff. I'm getting in trouble. The consequences, jail, and I already think it's lit. <laughs> so I'm I'm good. I'm gonna continue. Just turned fifteen, went to youth court or whatever, and they was like, "Yo, um, but why don't you do ISSP?" I'm like. That was some like program. I'm like, fuck that. I ain't do ISSP. Like, that's long. Send me to jail. And then they sent me to jail. 
And then when I got to jail, I was like, this is not the spot. But <laughs> it is too late by then. Like, I was in there then, like, I got 18 months to nine. So the, the, the street robberies, but what were you robbing at that stage? Phone road, shouldn't even send me to jail. Like, when I see a 15-year-old now, and I think, fucking hell, they sent me to jail at that age. I can't believe it, bro. Like, I just went to jail, going up to people, yo, give me a phone, going up to someone, snatch their chain, going up to someone. I don't even think I was using violence in the robberies. It was literally just, I was going up to them, Strong robbing, arm and give people. me a shit. Back of the bus, everyone's getting robbed. All of that shit. And then you, you got 18 months. Yeah, I got 18 months of that, yeah, 18 doing nine. What was that like, your first, first nine months? Fucking, I thought it was, so before this, I'm, I'm thinking, out of my, remember, there's 50 men on the block, out of them, I'm the G, me and KB, who else was there? Me and KB and a couple other people, we're the Gs, we're the ones that are ready to do shit, like, whatever. So I've gone to jail, I'm thinking, yo, and Looney as well. He say we the G. But me being from some from Chicago, you know, like, like yes, when you're younger, like you be willing to do a lot of stuff. But like when you're older and you look down, what to, what they really look at that is like, yeah, now this the goofy, send him, he gonna do whatever. This the crash dummy, he gonna go crash out. <laughs> That's really how they be looking at you when you when you're not like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They will applaud you like, oh yeah, you still. Yeah, yeah. But they looking at you as he will do anything. Send him. He's the goofy. If he go to jail, he gonna go to jail and think it's lit. <laughs> like go send him. Uni as well. Um, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna be the G in here. Like, then I got to jail, so I'm 15. So June is 15, 16, 17. Got there. Like, remember, I was just on street robberies. Man of, man of telling me stories. Man of driving. Man of lit jewelry shops. People have shot people. People have. Fucking, hey, people have got bodies. So I'm like, I'm not a G at all. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm at the bottom of the chain. Like, shit, like, I got, I got, I got to carry on climbing, man. And then what did you do when you came out? That's the attitude. That's the young attitude. Came out fucking thinking, yo, we need to do more. Obviously, with all the guys, like, yo, we're dudes. So when I got out, I'm basically like, yo, we're dudes, man. Out here, actually putting in mad work, like, What's like, yo, we need to up, but we had no resources. Like these days, everybody's got a gun, like everybody's got something. And stabbing weren't really like um, trending like that then. Like before, when I was going up when I was like 18 or 19, it's like if you stab someone, you're a dude. Like, oh, you, see, oh, you ain't got a gun, you stab somebody, you're a dude. But now it's like, it's, it's acceptable to be stabbing people, man. Like, yeah, man, God. But, um, but yeah, so I was just like, what did you just say, bro? Did you just say words right here? Dude, like, oh, you, see, oh, you ain't got a gun, you stab somebody, you're a dude. But now it's like, it's, it's acceptable to be stabbing people, man. Like, yeah, man, go. He didn't say words. No, he didn't. There ain't no way you gonna convince me that he just said something. All I heard was, I ain't hear nothing. But, um, but yeah, so I was just like, try to grab up the I just try to like, grab everyone and that, but I had no resources. Big Blake's my brother, he was in jail still. So I was just like, um, most people you see on here talking about cap, whatever you're talking about, sir. But YouTube, don't be afraid to put the same ad on my stuff. <laughs> I was talking about just snatching chickens, bro, robbing people and shit like this. Whatever bro was doing, whatever bro, like, I was, I was trying to find an older mentor to be like, yo, put me on. Me and KB used to see like orders and be like, bro, do anything, put us on, bro. And this is, see, this, this is what I be saying in a lot of the other videos where they be trying to make it seem like, Young people ain't out here looking for this. Like, they, they're looking for this also. I'm not saying that there's not people out here grooming them too, but they're also looking for it. Like, let's not get that misconstrued or forgot about. Like, these young dudes know what they, these young 13, 14, they know what's up. They know what they see. They know what they want to aspire for. They know what direction in life they want to take or they think they want to take at these age and they go looking for it. And then we just, we just fucking, there's no one about the time. My brother, man, Big Blake's, if he was out here, my life would have went in a whole different direction. He would have had me on some real organized crime shit at the time, like. And so you've now come out and you've gone back to street robberies. Uh, what age do you know? Now I've, so I've got out. I went to jail when I just turned 15, I've got out when I've just turned, just turned 16, like six days after my birthday or something like that. 
and then you, you're doing street robberies again? Yeah, just robbing, fucking, all of that kind of shit rolls me in. And how, how did that end? It's trail again. <laughs> Eighteen, do nine again. Again. And then what age did you come back out? Then I come out, why did I come out? 16. 17. Then I come out 17, thinking, yo, learn oh, how okay. to drive that. And obviously, learn how to drive. Now we're like, yo, we got, we got, we got, we got to do it. Like, now I'm starting to, like, give up on the fucking, the whole street shit, because I'm like, can't find a way out. I don't know what to do. Like, I want to do more shit. I want to sell drugs. Try sell drugs. Like, I used to think, I used to obviously sell weed at first. And I used to think, why am my phone ringing? Like, why am my phone ringing? Like, I'm cycling about everywhere, going to everywhere. Why am no one buying my shit? But I didn't realise my product was shit. It's no one trash, taught me that. Yeah. Yo, you need good product to sell. We know I was gonna buy this garbage, but I didn't even know. So like that was fucked up. Like, um, yeah. So just trying shit, rubbing shit. But I was just looking for a way out, man. Like, like because I still, I still love this life. Like I still wanted to be a top criminal. So I was just like, yeah, man, fuck that. Like I'll do anything, but nobody was there. So uh, what happened then? So um, so I'm just getting about doing just whatever the fuck, whatever. Still rubbing. At burglaries, I'm doing burglaries now. I'm with the burglary squad. We're just burgling up the place. The fuck, like what would happen in the burglary and what, what would be taken? Anything, bro. Um, play. Remember, I'm 17, so it's like PlayStations, TVs, cars, and um, whatever's in the house. Obviously, fucking with burglaries, like I regret the burglary shit fully because creeping into somebody's house, yeah, it's their, it's their comfort, man. It's their place of rest. Like, I don't really agree. See, see what I said earlier? Like, I was thinking from, like, stores and things of that nature, but, like, pe doing people and breaking into their houses. Like, have I done a couple of B&Es? Eh, you know, but I, re I regretted it. Like, afterwards, and I died. I was like, man, that's bogus, low-key. Like, I would never do that again in nobody's hard work. You know what I'm saying? And I got my karma. Somebody broke into my house. Took my stuff. I was like, mm, that's tough. Mm. With that shit, like, so I regret the burglary shit fully, man. Like, because it's just not, it's, it, it, you gotta have victim empathy, basically. You can't be like traumatizing people just for a fucking PlayStation on TV. And how did you know to burgle certain houses? Like, did you have a plan or was it a case? These man was out here burgling. And then when you're just on it, man can see you on it, sort of like, yo, you wanna go burgling? Like, how, yeah, let's go burgling, bro. Like, like, what I mean is, like, how would you know which house to get? Would it be a case of we know they're going to be out? Doors, bro. Try doors. These times, there weren't the grippers or nothing like that. We're talking, like, 08 or something. These times, there weren't, like, now you can just pop shit. You can just grip that out or whatever. Then, bro, windows and doors straight or kick the door. It was just random houses you'd go to. Would you look, watch that? So, like, a car outside. Like, there's a car outside. Oh, we'll just hop gardens, bro. Hop, like, 50 gardens in a row. And just be like, one of these windows will be open. One of these doors will be open. And one was always open, bro. Did any of them ever go wrong when people were inside? Um, nah, we never fucked no one off or nothing. Like, we never, obviously men done some shit, but I've been like, I can't really talk about some of this shit because yeah. But yes, yeah, so sometimes, but sometimes, nah. But yo, free roach, man. Roach was the robbery squad shit, free roach, man. And then what happened after the burglary situation? Um, burglaries, then I went to jail, I was driving down the road, but I'm still on license these times, I got like a nine months license, I got like a, uh, I got like five, four months left on my license, I was driving, and then I got pulled driving, and then they recalled me for driving, and they give me like an extra fucking four months for driving, so now I'm doing eight in do nine again, so now that's my, like my third eight in do nine, I'm like fucking hell, but I'm trying to keep be on the phone, yeah, I'm like, Yo, that's fucking, two years. I'm, you might yeah, as well retire. To phone, like the night before, he's in. Ash you did two years for stupid petty crimes. That's tough. Through all these times, this time the Ashfield was juvies, and I'm like, then, then I've been caught, and then the next day, I'm on the wing. I'm like, yo, it's like Blake's. I'm like, bro, he's like, I was literally chatting to him the night before, and then the next day, I'm on the fucking wing with him. Oh, I, I, and how did you get arrested? The I just got pulled over, and then um. The car light, nothing was in my name, all that kind of shit. So I got, I got recalled for like truck and, um, and yeah. And then how, how, how old are you now, like, so at that stage? I'm 32. Oh no, I'm, I'm, um, 17 at that stage. So now I got 18, do nine again. Now I got 18, do nine again. So you, you come out and then what's the plan now? So now I've come, so boom, this is an important time in my life. So at this point now, I've got padded up with KB. So we're like, bro, listen, when we get out, fuck that. It's, it's, any, it's always been anything, but it's anything now, bro. We sat 
and we prayed, yeah. I always remember this. We sat and we prayed, yeah. It was like, God, we know it's wrong, yeah, but please give us guns and money, please. Because we wanted to rep, like, more. That's a, imagine getting on your knees, praying to God, the man above, for, 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 for. For illegal, for to him to grant you access to illegal funds and weapons, that ain't you praying to the devil. That's the, who you praying to. God is not delivering that type of stuff. But then the money, we wanted to rep, like we wanted to put on a block, we wanted to fucking, we just wanted to rep, man. We was, we were some real block kids, man. Like we wanted it, you know, so, something was gonna give. So we just wanted to rep, man. So we're like, God, please give us guns and money. Like, that's all, that's what we need. Even if it fucking, even if it's our downfall, we want it. Like, we want it bad. That's tough. That's what I mean, man. I don't know whether these kids want it anymore. Like, these kids just, I see them doing this drill shit and that, yeah? And I know people say drill's bad, yeah? But do you know how many potential kids can, should be black kids, yeah? But they go on to do drill. And it's like, I know this because I'm seeing these little drill rappers and I'm phoning them from jail and I'm like, bro, I need this doing. And they're like, oh, bro, we're just doing music now, you know. Oh, we're just doing. And I'm like, bro, he's like dudes, bro. Like, fucking, you're talking <laughs> murderous on this drill shit. I'm phoning you to do something. And, bro, you wouldn't even, fuck, you wouldn't even drive a car down the road, no insurance. We're talking murder on this drill. Okay, then, so we're, you've come back out again, yeah, after doing nine months again. I think he should have named some people. He definitely should have named some people. You, we already know a lot of rappers is cavers, and they just go for the, with the vibe. They go with the uh, with the mood. Whatever's popular, they're going to jump in it. Yeah. And uh, what's going on there, then? So now, fucking, I bought KB. Like, we've been rolling from young anyway, me and KB. Yeah. So now I'm just like, we're just like, bro, we got to do something. Yeah, but I got this car, bro, yeah? Bro, we ain't got shit. I'm just like, bro, let's go, go stick up this shop, bro. Fuck it, bro, yeah. We got this little fake gun and shit, yeah. We'll just go stick up this shop. Here's one thing you need to do before buying anything online. Don't spend another dime on Amazon until you watch this. The car, if you, the car, if the car turned off, it was done, bro. You see, if you turn it off by the ignition, it's, it's, the car wouldn't start again, unless you, um, it had no rotor cuff. So we like, bro, we just like, fuck it, bro, yeah. We parked up around the corner, yeah. We left the keys in the ignition. We're like, let's just go stick up this shop, bro, and it is what it is, yeah. And then, um, then yeah, we just went round, stuck that shit up, fucking um, ran in there, done the whole fucking whatever, yeah. And then come out, we got like a grand, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, we like, gas, we got like a grand, five bills each, like. Then we just drew back, looking, no one hey. the car and shit, we just drew hey. back, and we're like. His storytelling ability is bar none. Bro, he had a good time. He reliving this right now. He's loving it. <laughs> like, no, live from there, bro, we just started robbing shops, bro. Like, we just started robbing shops, bare shops, yeah. And then, like, That's people funny. started putting us onto things. So this is, like, 09 now. So, like, people started putting us onto things now because they're seeing, like, yo, these lot are actually not just talking. Like, they'll do some shit. And then, um, so what did they put us onto first? Like, they put us onto some hotel or some shit, started doing that, like, and then... Yo, shout out Ace Bugs, man. And let me just say something, yeah. Everything I'm talking about, I've been nicked for bear shit. Like, I've been nicked for this shit. So it's not like it's no snitching on myself shit. So, um, so boom. So Ace, like, yo, shout out Ace, man. He, he come through, like, he was an older, he's an older dude we used to see. He used to be like, bro, put us on. He's done bear shit himself. So he's just like, so we seen him, we're like, yo, we've been doing shit out here, man, put us on. He's like, all right, then safe, yeah. Um, rubbing shops and that, and then he's phoned us one day. He's like, yo, I got a move for you. He's like, yeah, see if you're on it. So I'm like, yeah, how yeah, I'm on it. I'm on whatever, bro. He's like, yo, boom, come through, yeah. So um, I'm phoning KB now. I'm like, yo, Ace is taking us to the fucking um, Ace is taking us to the uh, the move, bro. Where you at? Well, he's not answering his phone, yeah. So I just went down my own, yeah, to scope it on the nighttime. It's he's like, oh, it's just some building. He took me to a building. It was a bank. I'm like, bro, that's a bank, bro. He's like. <laughs> It's like, bro, fuck all of that, yeah? These people are gonna come in in the morning, yeah? Drop off a box, yeah, to the thingy. When they give it to the cashier woman, go and grab that shit. It's 25 bags in there, bro. I'm like, yo, say no more. Fuck damn, on it. So, bum, phoning KB all night. Now, where the fuck are you phoning you? He was like, yo, I'm on it, whatever, bro. Fucking morning time from KB's phoning me. 
yes bro let's go it's today went up there took us up there fucking everything because that's how we said bro went in there bro seen the fucking seen the, the the guy went in there with the shit and um yeah just ran in there grabbed that bitch bro come out bro jumped in the car and that everyone's just like ah. everyone's buzzing i was like 25 bags clean cash like i've never seen this money this is days before christmas bro so i'm like yo yes bro like like finally money like these games paying off all this shit we've done for this game bro like it's paying off then we got the money like then we just like i think we got like me and Kyle like 10 bags each and that ace and that got the rest fucking wows and then yeah bro that was the start now we're like bro this is what we're doing bro fuck that we're robbing these well, he just then elevated just, them like, it is robbing them bitches like we was just doing them every other week then like boom 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 like i said we got nicked for this shit like i'm in jail for this shit so um yeah so we're just doing them and then amongst that now we got resources now we got money so we're like yo we can buy shit we can buy we can buy pipes we can buy everything so we just started repping bro like now we're repping so we had like those um there was a like a little a set in our area yeah they had like they had control they was like the government in our area but we was like we was like the, we was like uh, the communist in Cuba. We was a small set, but we wanted to take over and enforce our ideology on the block. So we like, yo, fuck now, let's do it, yeah. And they had beef with my brother anyway. The whole block did, yeah, because my brother's just like not respecting any of them. My brother's putting in his own work, like pre or senior generation before this. So, but my brother's in jail this whole time. Like, I gotta give it all to my brother, man, because all the shit that like all my heart and that, like where my heart comes from, that comes from big bro, like big Blake's, like. He all, like when I'm coming Birmingham. home, it's just like, yo, you never sleep on a viral, basically. Never let no one disrespect you. Make sure you always stand up for your friend. Like, he's drilling in principles to me because oh, well, this shit can't just be about money. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, if it's about money, then you'll sell your shit for anything, bro. Like, you'll sell out for anything and then you'll, you'll make it. And, that, and then, like, what have you got, really? You're just a scumbag at the top. Like, you slimed everybody and done all of that snaky shit like nah this is about brother he seems like he's solid he's standing the ten toes down he there for his brothers he's here for the gang he down for the cause shoot put to us so it's just like that's what my brother still did me from young so boom me and kb like yeah let's let's do this shit bro let's 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 rep and then we just started repping bro we was trying to push these pusses out bro like you know what I'm saying? And then, bro, we was just on to everybody. Three of us, me, KB, and Looney, bro. We was on to everybody, bro. We were pulling up, like, the whole block, you know, like, we, we, even if you're involved, we're pulling up on you and doing something. And then it's back and forth, back and forth. To Civilians? Yeah, you was definitely on dirt. <laughs> Blake's on dirt. He hit civilians and all. He don't care. For tats, he's getting shot. He's getting shot. Both sides, man, are getting hit. So it's just like, yeah, we're just going back and forth, back and forth, fucking. But we're also going out the ends. We've got these like pressing the ends, but we're also going out. We're some real communists, bro. Like, we're, you know, them like went to Congo and Bolivia and shit. We're going out the block, like, putting on, yeah? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. What this is? Is it like a... Oh, okay, like a... Uh... Then, yeah, we're going out the block, like putting on, yeah, and then boom, and then, yeah, bro, and then we just go, we just I'm telling you, man, the way people be telling stories, man, when they really involved, you could tell the difference. Like, 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 I could tell, like, when somebody lying, the story not funny because you're not reliving it, so it's not funny. It don't be funny. <laughs> like, this dude, though, I could tell he's on that. I could tell he's one of them dudes. <laughs> because just the, the, the sheer hilariousness of what he's saying, it just can't be made up. <laughs> just had hood dreams, bro. But I will say, yeah, like, any, like, I was always prepared for the sentence. Like, I was always knew, like, yo, if I get back to this, I'm getting my years, but I'm willing to do them years. And I will say that to say this, that if you're in this thing, yeah. Types, real. Especially if you're you and you're repping in that, yeah. And you're trying to go on rides and you're trying to do shit, yeah. If you ain't winning to do the sentence, if you're one of them like, oh, I want to do, but if I get caught, I don't think I can do the time. Then get the fuck out of the car, bro. Yeah, because you're going to snitch. You're putting everybody at risk. 
get on yeah, out. So mm -hmm. off the back of this now, we're like, so this is all 10 when we're doing all this crazy shit, but KB's blowing in music, like for Birmingham, KB's doing bare music, like, and he's just KB, like everyone who knows KB knows that he's hard. So he's just, he's blowing, he's blowing, like everything, he's like personifying everything we're doing from the road to, it's just raw energy and this is the poetry he's just putting it together and all that kind of shit. So we've gone jail. So Have I heard of KB? Jail for one of them um, bank things. But when we've got caught, he's got caught with his pipe. So like we're in jail now, yeah. So we're just like same shit. Like <laughs> back when did they start saying pipe in uh, Birmingham? That's new. Fourth with, with dog. That's a Chicago word. Pipe. Pops like in jail getting cracking. We've got them under pressure like always, bro. And then um getting it back and forth with them. So we're like, yo, what we do when we get out? So this time there's no money in music, bro. Yeah, that's a Chicago so, um, word. That's it's like... not really a music. When we get out, we still do music, but yo, we need to now we're thinking, yo, we need to become some drug dealers, bro, because just for um sustainability and longevity, got out, start still repping, still going back and forth with these youths now. Or I'm Midwest licenses, but oh. after you I done two and a half, I got five you two and a half years. So after you done two and a half years, bro, like you're hesitant now. You're not in it like you was in it before. Before it was, bro, I'm in the boring. I'll blow this gun if I have to, bro. I'm in the club and I'll blow this gun if I have to. But now it's like, ah, oh, do you not want to blow this gun? But I will blow this gun. So this is all 13. I'm like, not gonna lie, that's my thought process. I do not want to, but don't, <laughs> don't think I won't. <laughs> like 21 now, 22, fucking. And um, yeah, so we like we got we're back to Robin and shit, yeah. Um, just doing what we what we know. My brother's still in jail. Like, um, everybody who could get us out of that Robin mentality was away from us. And then, um, man, no big we've homies, huh? Thingy, bro. Then we've got we're done. Like, we didn't move, bro. We didn't bag We didn't everything. Just willy nilly, bro. Like, we don't give a fuck. Phone was coming. And then we went on a move, yeah. And then fuck him. Yeah, just uh, ran up in some house and that uh, turned out the move was just another wild goose chase and that and being on 50 of them before. And then, but this one caught up on us, bro. We had one geezer who ended up snitching on us. So then, then we went to, then I got like, what did we get? I got eight and a half years. Woo! Like, Talk to me about that then. So what actually happened? Um, basically, somebody's like, somebody put a sign to this guy saying, yo, he's got 50 bags cash in the house. Yeah, I seen it in his lunchbox when he caught up in some embezzlement or some shit like that. This is what I'm being told. He's caught up in some embezzlement. Um, the money that he's got is in his house. So I'm like, cool, yeah, look, like, it's fun. Let's go. So boom, gone up there, um, ran up in the house, tied him up, booted him and that. Like, the guy's like, yo, I've got 30 bags, yeah, but I've just given it to Mark. So we're like, so me and KB now are arguing in the house. Like, he's like, bro, I'm saying, let's phone him from, um, let's take the geezer out and then phone, phone the guy who we got to go to from out there. Cause if we, if we phone him from in here, he might do something mad, bro. Like he might phone the police, like them got me, go get me. So it's just like, yo, let's just go phone him from. Yeah, 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 definitely. In America for armed robbery, you, you're going, <laughs> it's about like 10 to, 10 to 15, probably 10 to 12. You get in there, maybe, maybe eight, eight to twelve. You gonna get, you gonna get something. No, no, no. It's ten. <laughs> I'm trying to be light. It's ten to fifteen for sure. Especially if you arm and you point the gun at somebody and threaten them with the gun. Yeah, you're, you're going down, buddy. Mm. Out, out there. He's like, nah, let's keep him. I'm like, nah, let's go. Ended up going anyway. Booted him, driven back to Brom. Or whatever um, weapon you got. I was like, yo, fucking phoning the guy who's saying they got the 30 bags. No answer. Just like, this is long now, bro. Fuck it, innit? Like, it's just a, it's just a write off, innit? Just leave him. Didn't take nothing off the guy, bro. Left him with his car. Didn't take nothing out of his house. The only thing we took out of his house, bro, he had two rollies on the side. So obviously, we're going to take them. Like, took the rollies on the side. Turned out to be fake, but obviously, we're going to take them. Like, Left him with his phone. Bro, we did well going for none of that shit. We went for the door. Like, we're not like, we're not, even though we're rabbits and shit, we're not only like, you know what I'm trying to say? So, um, but yeah, and then that guy ended up snitching too, bro. Like, that when with the guy was in our car, he's just like, yo, like, he's just like, bro, we don't even matter anyway, but that guy ended up snitching, like, and then, um, yeah, we got bags for that, bro. So, how did you get arrested, bro? Wait, the guy that they robbed snitched? Or the guy, or the guy that was in a car. Who was that? 
yeah, like, how did I get arrested? Oh, this is funny, yeah. So, boom, KB's coming out of probation, yeah. Um, I pulled up. We're supposed to go to Drake Manor that day. So I pulled up, yeah. KB's, like, he's come out of probation. He's running across the car park, yeah. So as he's running, two people are running behind him, bro, yeah. Like, but it's like he's just stole something out of Audi and he's getting off and security are chasing him, yeah. I'm like... Don't tell me you got nicked for, for stealing something from Aldi. Check their stocks. And you done rob banks, so people, much. all that. Personal, you know, I'm like, it's security chasing my man. Like, is he robbed something from Aldi, yeah? <laughs> Just like some girl shit, yeah? And then he's got to the door, it's open. As he's got to the door, they grabbed him, bow. Yo, Ali was late, da 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 da. I'm like, what the fuck's going on, yeah? And then they're like, yo, that's Blake's in the car. They're like, yo, that's Blake's. And then they've opened the car and they've, they've took the keys out and they've grabbed me. They're like, yo, um, you are under arrest, da 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 da. But bro, I'm running. Like, when you've been to jail, you know, you cannot go back to jail, bro, under any circumstances. So they've grabbed me and they're just like, I'm just looking. So two of them have got KB and one of them's got me. I'm just like, fuck this one's got boom. Drop my man's hands, he just looked at me. I looked at KB, bro. I could see he was just stuck and surrendered, bro, yeah. I just said goodbye in my eyes and I just started crying, bro. I just started running, bro. I was just running off now for them shit and that got away, bro. I'm like, yes, fuck him, yeah, I got away. Obviously, I'm sad for my boy, though. And then he's phoning me like, bro, it's peak. It's peak, bro, like, we fucked. And then, like, three weeks later, they've come for me again. I'm at one house, they've just come for me, bro. Try to run again, run out the bat, foul down the things. Hit the fucking straight. The geezers hit the straight with me. We're just running now. It's a long road. And then I just, I was fucked, bro. I couldn't run no more. And then the guy was just like, yo, I just run a marathon, you know, so you never. Mm, you ran into a super cop. Bro just ran a 26 and a half mile marathon. Caught you. <laughs> you was never going to get away. He had 26 miles of, of gasoline in him. Yeah, you, was the, you was in trouble, buddy. We're going to get away. I was like, Yo, and then I went to jail, yeah? And then I got sentenced, yeah, to eight and a half, to eight years EDS. So after eight years, I had to do five years, four months. But I also had to do um, 10 months from my license. So that took me to six years, four months, what I had to do. And then when I was in jail, I caught another charge for supplying a gun. So then they give me another eight years, bro. So then I, so I had to do ten and a half years. Was there a court case? Pardon? Did you go to trial? Any of these? This man, yeah, polite as um, it? I, Pardon? My, the kidnap and robbery, I went, um... For the kidnap and robbery, I went guilty. KB went to trial. So he got like 11, I got eight. And then for the gun case, I had a year left. For the armed robbery, you and your co-defendant was together. You pled out guilty, but KB went to trial. So what was his plea? Not guilty? But when you pled out guilty, did that not automatically... Or when you pled out guilty, did that mean you took most of the blame for this and the third? So... Possibly KB can get lesser time if he went to trial with it. That's that's okay. Out of that six years, four months I had to do, I had a year left. That's when I caught my gun case from jail. So, but they was trying to say, yeah, they they charged me with supplying a gun, yeah, and um. How? What was the charge? Um, what's that charge where you finger, huh? Our intent to um. Yeah, do you know? Yeah, it tends to endanger life. Because they were trying to say, I've supplied this gun for my, my boy to go do some madness with. So they've charged us with that, yeah. So we went all the way through trial, everything, all the way to the it's verdict. Nothing man. got thrown out, nothing. We had to, like, wait. Like, the jury went out for, like, 12 days. Like, so we just called, called us all, come back up now. It was just, like, all standing in the rows, like, six of us. Um, and then fucking, they've just done their rounds. It's like, intent to endanger life, not guilty for everybody. And then um, supplying a gun, we all got guilty, but uh, except my boy was with us, snide too legit, yo, shout too legit, man, real guy, like, real you, man, like, fully helped me build in jail and shit, real guy. What evidence did they have against you? Yeah, I'm coming to you, okay. Thanks, here. Um, from my evidence, I had, they had me phoning the guy with the gun and me phoning my cold D, and then them two phoning each other. 
Uh, you can chew, yeah. Yeah, that's all. That's 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 the evidence what got me. They had other evidence, but that was the main. That was the main thing what got me. Cause okay. it was like, and I guess how do you feel so close to Because you've got like a year left, and then you've just been slammed with this. You know what it was, bro? Because I never got the um, endangering life. Remember the end, endangering life. That starts at 15 years. EDS. We had no mitigation, no nothing. We were just criminals, bro. So it was just like that would have probably been up to 18 or something. 18 years. E Plus I'm doing this shit from jail. So it's only been like 18 years EDS, yeah. That would have that would that would have killed me, bro. Like that, and people are getting that every single day out here, bro. Like people are getting 18 EDS every day, bro. Good dudes, bro. Like just lost in the life. Just just dudes who are out here just repping all with their boys and standing on shit for their boys. Sometimes standing on principles, bro. Like like shit, you shouldn't even. You know what I'm trying to say? Like someone's trying to get you down, and then you. Um, yeah, can you not like, argue self-defense? Because say someone's trying to get you down, and then the, the the public might say, "Oh, well, the police can deal with that." But what what if the police haven't gotten the evidence to get this guy? Happens all the time. Haven't got the evidence to get this guy who's trying to get you down. Then, bro, you have to. It comes to a point where you have to have something on you to defend yourself. And if you see this guy now and he's on your he's on your ass like he's on your ass, then bro, what are you gonna do? You got to, you've got to defend yourself, bro. Otherwise, that turn the other cheek shit, like, yo, this is, you turn, know, yeah, turn the other yeah, cheek, yeah, you turn the yeah, other cheek, yeah. well, damn. Turn the other cheek in real life, like in the hood, like when you got ops, like when you outside, that don't exist. <laughs> hey, what would you say the craziest thing is you saw in prison? You gonna turn that other cheek and they gonna hit that cheek? That's tough. Pause. I seen bare little weird shit, man. Like I seen bare funny shit. I seen him lose twenty four grand once on poker. Yeah, cause we used to bet and shit, all that kind of shit. I seen him lose twenty four grand in poker. I I used to like get to a grand and stop, be like, yeah, yo, do whatever. Yeah, I'm stopping. I'll pay or I'll get paid or something. These two, like, these are like big big drug dealers, though. These two, like, just was going at it. Got to the point where it's like two hundred and fifty pound on the chip, yeah. So they're just going at it. I've gone work, come back, they're still just in the midst of it, and then they stop. Yeah, the guys just like, yo, we're at twenty four G's, and then my man's just like, you know what? Call it ten. Just give me ten bags, yeah. And then the guy, yeah, has used my phone to phone his boy, yeah. And then um, sort out the robbery, sort out the money, and oh. then um. I got a phone call like three days later, yeah. He's like, yo, he's like, oh, can I chat to Dada, yeah? I'm like, ah, oh, he's not about whatever, yeah? Next day he's phoning me, yo, can I chat to Dada? Next day he's phoning me. So now I'm like, yo, they send his phone, you know, don't ring the phone, bro. Mine was like, you know what he is? He's took a nine bar off me and he hasn't fucking paid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, fucking hell, man. It's, bro, how are we. And so used your phone? Using, yeah, like, Gambling. No, that quite, I didn't realize it was that level. Nah, that's like a that's like that. It don't it don't slant like that normally. That's just like them two going at it, bro. Two two of the right people meet. Eh? Two people, two gamblers meet, bro. They're gonna go crazy. What else did you see, bro? Because you obviously used it there for a long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I seen all kinds of shit, bro. I seen um. What would you say? What was the worst memory you had in prison? <sighs> worst memory for me, fucking personally. Um, me and KB fucked somebody up, bro. When we first got in there, yeah. This, Cause when I when I first went back to jail, I knew like yo, I fucked up, bro. Like it's all fun and games out there. But when I all got back to jail, I did, it didn't hit me straight away because I'm padded up with my, I'm padded up with care and that. So it's like it's okay. Like um, when you was your Cody in jail or your brother and shit, it's not even like jail. Like it's like a comfort in there, bro. So it's all right. And then we fucked this kid up on the wing, yeah, and that sent me to the block. And then down, he just hit me, bro. Like yo, I fucked up, like. Like, I fucked up, I had a girl at the time, I had fucking my mom, like, everything that I like. I had a kind yeah, of life, bro, I was enjoying life. Yeah, I feel you, man. Right now, like, right now, I'm, like, hitting the, like, amazing stride. Thanks to the right couple of moves, thanks to God, you know what I'm saying? And I'd be devastated if I had to go sit down like that, like, for any amount of time. So I'd be watching, I'd be watching people, I'd be watching my environment. Like, I don't even really be going outside like that for what? I ain't got no business outside. Unless I'm getting paid to go somewhere, like, then what's, like, I go get my daughter and come home. I don't need to be outside driving nowhere. Like, I'm good. I thought, oh, I had a future, and I was just, and I never planned to be in it. Every 18 year old in this game thinks when they're 25, they're not gonna be in this shit no more. Like, if you're in this shit, you're 25, you're 30, you bomb me, man. Like, what? So yeah, so I just fucked like crushed my dreams, bro. Like I had dreams where I wanted to be like 
not now, obviously, but at the time I wanted to be like a, you know. But um, yeah, so all just hit me down the block, bro, and I was, I was hurt, bro. Like I was proper hurt, bro. And I say that was like my hardest time in there, for me personally. I was down there for like a week at the beginning. I was just like, damn, man, that shit was pain, bro. And then, you, and then like I've been like 15 jails and shit. So it was just like, when you get and every worst jail you've been to. And why? I say like Wales, yeah. Wales, I say Swinney, just because. Like Wales is different because as soon as you go to a Wales jail in England, yeah, that's like 21 and under, yeah. You um, offenders. As soon as you go on your pad, man, bow, bow, yo, where you from? And then it's like, yo, from, I'm from Highgate. Man, I'm like, all right. Hear him go to his window. Yo, uh, yo, Tita, yo, you know, you hear the whole fucking thing. You know, my man from Highgate. Hear what my man has to say back. Oh, yeah, it's cool, or oh, fuck my man. Like, think your peers got a pro. You're next door hearing all of this, bro. So it's just like, it's just like your TV is off. You're just thinking, yo, what the fuck? Like, you make you, you gotta make your little shank and shit. It's just like, yo, what the fuck? What would, like, da 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 da. Yeah, that's messed up. <laughs> hearing your demise. It's like open court. Like, man, yeah, yeah, he bro from Highgate. What, what's the word on him? I know he's straight. We ain't got no business with them. But then if you not, go ahead, get suited and booted in that thing. You hear me? Yeah. That's and then tough. Um, so why always it Swinney? Everybody's shanked up in there, bro. Everybody's got their little poker on them. Um, gang, it's just gang, bro. And then um, and it's always going off, bro. It is what it is. It's the, it's the field, man. It's the trenches. You got to put in work in there. And then um. My adult jail, that's like 21 jails. and over, that's con, so that's a whole different like type of board game, board game. It's more violent in adult jails, yeah, Is but it? yeah, there's less violence and it's not petty violence oh, kind okay. of thing. But um, I'll say Garth, when I first got there in all 17, Garth's full of the guys now, but when I first got there, nobody was there and it was just a set of crackheads on the wing, what was on it, like Geordie crackheads, fully on it, like... Like Dev Gully box, bro. So I've got, I've got, I've landed there on my phone, all of that kind of shit. Like a little weed and that. I'm thinking if these man, and these man have got big pokers on them, like big pokers. I'm thinking, yo, these man coming here, I ain't having it, bro. Like, I ain't having it, bro. So I was just thinking, oh, these are don't come in here, man. And but I'm just chilling, doing, doing my time. No one's in the jail, I even know at the time. And but I'm seeing these like, like fucking kidnapping people, like dying people, like, all that shit. And no matter how bad you are, yeah, if you ain't got a team, bro, yeah, a good few man around you, can get sticky for you, bro. Like, no matter who the fuck you are, like, it can get sticky for you. So I'm just thinking, yo, hopefully, I hope. I heard that's the same thing like American drills, man. It's, it, 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 it's like you try to go in there and be like a lone wolf. Like, you got to have some type of level of respect to be able to do that. Like, you got to be able to, whatever come at you, you going you to... Gonna, you're going to take it down or you're going to attempt to take it down because you can't just be in jail solo. You need the team, like he said. This shit don't get sneezing with me. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> because I'm standing on shit. Oh, this shit don't get sneezing with me. Blakes, I just noticed something. So when you text people, it's green bubbles? You ain't got no iPhone? What's going on? Talk to me. Talk to me, Blakes. Where is your iPhone? You got on a blue shirt that your text should be blue. Fucking. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But no, I'm, I'm not. Up, bro. <laughs> I'll go. I'll get. Like, I'll go out, bro. And then fucking. And then yeah, all the, the start influx and like influx and like loads of the guys from the cities and Londoners, Bromutes and that. And then the jail just got live. The jail got so live, like. Free everyone from that jail, man. Cause say a thousand names, different. Free felon, TK, fucking. Who else in jail? So it was man? lit. All the guys, man. Free all. The, sorry if I forgot you, man. I hate forgetting guys' names, man. What? Mate, who would you say is the, the the craziest person you met while you was in? Oh, crazy. You know, it's a mad thing about jail. You don't really like. You get like the the portrayed pictures of people are crazy, but when you meet them, they're not crazy. They're just the craziest, I guess. Um, crime that's one of them that you spoke to. Yeah, all sorts, bro. Like, um, people kill their wives and shit. One dude killed his wife, yeah, and was driving around with her in the car and just tied her up in a type of way. So, and then we like was pulling on some strings and shit to make them wave and that, yeah. Like, calm set, like, they used to call him, now, nah, fucking, they used to call him. 
Like, what's that? What the pulling strings like a ventriloquist? What was that? Granddad, yeah. But, um, he was Weird. safe, bro. Like, these people are just. You think they're gonna be monsters? You hear this story? You think they're gonna be monsters? But they're actually just cool people, like. Um, the, like, they I just have a mental break. Killers, like, loads of wife killers. I met a geezer, yeah, fucking. He, he, um. He was just a mad geezer, yeah. He, um, was in the attic of his wife's house, yeah. And, um. Like, bugged up. He was just so he's sick of technical shit, yeah. So he was just bugged up all, all the fucking. All the house and that, yeah. So he managed to cause every. He had something in the rock in the garden, yeah. And then, um, yeah, he was in the attic just waiting on her, then she must have started speaking to her man. And then thingy, but he's a scientist, dude, like he's a, res he's a respectable in his field, yeah. And then, so, and then thingy, yeah. And then, so when the mans came round or something, he must have knew the geezer, some other fucking academic, yeah. So my man's kicked off the door, ran up in there, slapped her, and must have been like, yo, you call yourself a man of science and that. But he's telling me like, this is a this and that. He's like, I was, what did you say? I was just like, yo, you call yourself a man of science and that, but you're not a man of science. <laughs> Like he was going, like this weird shit. Like he was about to be offended. <laughs> you call yourself a man of science? You ain't out here figuring out the Jimmy Neutron law of science and breaking down diabolical situations and putting scientific stuff together. I'm doing that, and you in here cheating with him? I'm Bill Nye, the science guy. My bad. Okay. Yeah, and he got ten years for that, bro. He got ten years for that, bro. Yeah. Ten and then obviously you see all the members in just for gangbang and shit, all the robbers in, all the brick boys and that, like, you see all of them, they're just, that's just the guys, man. Yeah. And how long have you been home there? I've been home like, what, 10 days now? Yeah, I've been home like 10 days, man. How's that feel? It feels good, Dang, man. 10 it's days, that like that's a it? Hostile thing, innit? So it's just like, like, well, like when you're um, highly likely to reoffend, like they still want to money you when you get out, so they got me on this tag, they got me in this hostel. They got me fucking, just got me on a bear curfew. So it's like, even though I'm home, I'm fully not and getting to experience the beautiful things like staying overnight at girls, um, my, like even chilling, like staying at my mum's, just like going out, all of that type what, of thing. What has changed then, Blake? So now obviously to stop reoffending, what? Because what, what, obviously you're not going to have that course again. So what, what, what do you plan to do now that's going to be different? Yeah, I like to, you know what I would like to do? Yeah, like just on a personal note, like I would like to, um, I would like to do like positive speaking and shit like that, you know. I don't even know if that's I don't even know why I like that shit, but I would like to do something like that. I would like to music man in You probably could. You can go on like tour, do positive speaking, but you know what you could do, Blake? You could go do hood tours. Just go do hood tours, but not chops, because you still might be involved. Go do hood tours. Take people around the hood like Birmingham and sketchy areas, but don't do too many areas at once. Just take them around one area for 30 minutes, let them see what's going on. Not too, showing too much, then post it. Then go to the next, because that's really popular and you have that access and you that you can do that. So that's what I would do. You make a killing on YouTube. So if there's any little use from Birmingham out there, it's hard at rapping. I'll, if I find the right one, I would like to I would like to push them and I feel like we could push them. But it's gotta be the right one. Um, I got some shit with my boy too legit, like, we got some little gaming thing we're gonna sell. We got some little sports bar shit we're gonna try thing and win we, sort of some other shit. Um, and yeah, there's any entrepreneurial shit, bro, I'll jump on. Like any opportunity, bro, what I see makes sense, I'll do. You know, I'm on whatever, bro. Sponsor me. <laughs> hey, sponsor me, Blake. So I slide out there, come to y'all little stuff, you know, turn up. We outside. Shane, you've noticed since you've been home? About the world. Um, everyone's rude out here, man. Everybody's rude, like, fucking, they, they build you up inside to be like, oh, you can't be part of society because you're like this. And then you get out and you're like, you that was spinning me, all this shit. And then I got out and you like, I just, you like, I fucked out here. No one using <laughs> their manners. Everybody's just rude. Like, people don't even fucking put their heads up and down straight, right through, barging, passing people. And I, I told you he was over, he's polite. This, um, Blake's. Yeah, I can see some of his mannerism, mannerisms, and he comes off really polite. He's a good dude, but he's got, you know, he a street dude, but he a good dude, which is a very possible thing. A lot of street dudes be be cool. You know what I'm saying? Bro, what the fuck, bro? They got put their polite manners. <laughs> like, what's all this about? You know what I'm saying? 
All right, man, that's the end of that one. Shout out Taboo Room, man. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. How long have we been live? Two hours and 14 minutes, and we got another hour to go, man. Maybe even two. Yeah, get me. I'm going.